Hello and welcome to Dinesh Nara classes. So in this video, you will learn about the work energy theorem, its definition and how to prove the work energy principle or the work energy theorem, which is basically the work done on the body is equals to the change in its kinetic energy. And please watch the whole video till end to clear your concepts as well as to make the strong foundation and to learn physics at home. So without wasting our time, let's start with our class today. Work energy theorem. According to this principle, work done by the force in displacing a body measures the change in the kinetic energy of the body. So we can say that when a force does some work on a body, the kinetic energy of the body increases by the same amount. And it increases by the same amount. Now to prove the work energy principle. Now we have to prove that. Work energy principle, again consider M, this as the mass of the body, m is the mass of the body, u is the initial velocity of the body. Now at this time u is not 0, this is the initial velocity. This is the initial velocity of the body and f is what? This is the force applied on the body in the direction of motion. So this is force applied in the direction of motion force applied <coughs> in the direction of motion ds considering this ds is what the small displacement of the body in the direction of force so small displacement in the direction small displacement in the direction of force which is small displacement in the direction of force now the small amount of work done by the force is the small amount of work done by the force <coughs> is dw this is a small amount of work done which is f dot ds now we have already stated that this force and ds the small displacement is in the direction of force so this is f ds cos 0 degree so cos 0 is 1 so dw this dw is equals f dot ds now we know that what is f f is m into a so this is m a dot ds so dw is m a dot ds now what is this a now a can be written as dv by dt again okay. This is M. Now this is M into this is dV by dt into ds. Arrang again rearranging it. Taking this dt with this. So this will be M. You can write this as ds by dt. ds by dt into dv. Which is actually the same thing. This is ds by dt. Now this ds by dt will become V. So this will be V. So this is m into v dot dv, m into v dot dv. So this is dw, the small work done, which is m v into dv. Now the total work done by the force in increasing the velocity of the body from u to v, we have to integrate. So this capital W is obtained by means the total work done is obtained by integrating it from u to v which is m v dv <coughs> we know that we take m constant so the integration will be with this so integration u v v dot dv this is v actually v dot dv so this will be m this is v square by 2 u to v so this will be m this will be v square by 2 minus u square by 2 or this is half m v square by 2 minus half m u square sorry half m v square minus half m u square 
which is the work done. <coughs> now this is the work done. Now what is this? This is the final kinetic energy and this is the initial kinetic energy. Half mv square minus half m. Sorry for this again. Half mv square minus half m u square. That is final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy. So we can write w. This w equals the change in the. So this w is equals the change in the kinetic energy. Change in kinetic energy of the body. So basically we have obtained w is half mv square minus half m u square. Which is the final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy and the work done by the force is a measure of the change in kinetic energy, kinetic energy of the body which proves the work energy principle.